All right, well, we got it. We, we know where we're going to glue it in place now, so I found a pencil. I'm marking some lines where we're going to cut the covering off so that we can glue wood to wood. Then let's cut that out. All right. Hopefully, you can see these pencil marks here. All right. Let's try to cut this piece out here. It goes in just like that, so I need to remember that. Tell you what. Works a little bit better than freehanding. Make sure I went all the way through it. Yeah, I did. A bit tougher than you think plus this blade is probably a little getting to be a little bit dull but you know the, the covering is stuck on the wood pretty dang good side all right guys I did a little bit more trimming off camera and I also put some pins to help align it from where I measured how I feel that it's gonna fit the best also forgot that we had to clear off the covering on that area and right in here so without further ado let's whip up some uh, Let's whip up some two-part 30-minute epoxy and just get to get to going with it. No more procrastinating. smaller brush real quick to help get in these
And this part here, we can be a little, a little more careful, and we can, we can load up the other side and when we gotta mate them together. Better stick with that smaller brush there. Not exactly the cleanest or, or non messy, I should say. When we go to slide it in, it'll it'll ooze out kind of all over the place and we'll get some of them paper towels wet with some rubbing alcohol and wipe a bunch of it off and then we'll also run it like a bead down the edge you know to help seal it in real good well, I forgot to mention I poked a bunch of little holes right down the very edge so when some of it does ooze out it'll go into the little holes of the covering there Make sure I got plenty on here. I don't want me on back right now. see what that looks like. Start to run away on me a little bit. I'm going to pull it back and forth a couple times to kind of really get her, really get it mixed in there. I had a little line right here on the back. I got the back lined up. And then we've got my P 
pins lined up. You know, it kind of looks like a caulk in a bathtub a little bit. And we can put a bunch down in the inside where we can reach now. We might even whip up another batch. I don't know. Oh, that's my dog. I, uh, I negotiated a couple hours to do this. I, I bet he's telling me, uh, hey, Dad, uh, time's up. All right. And just a ballpark estimate before we put anything else in. Just, just check my, my marks here. I'm going to call it close enough for Shoneman work. All right. Thirty minutes. Wish they got twenty to go, probably. Just kind of getting a light layer on this. That way, it'll probably it'll, it'll attract, you know, some of the other stuff. We'll, we'll load up that cavity with a bunch of it. Oh, I hope Sunday's a good day. I hope you guys get to go flying too. You won't see this until Sunday night because my internet takes about seven days to upload these videos. But I hope you guys have done some flying also. I hope somebody pays three bucks for that fuel tank, you know, on on eBay. <clears throat> if we get some success out of that, we'll put something else on eBay and we'll all follow it, you know. All right, let's see. Just brush for this. Eh, maybe we can. No, nope, 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 nope. Well, we just need a little glob and. up a little mountain right there. Kind of a low spot right there, so. Making sure we had plenty in there. Oh, yeah. Grab one more of my little popsicle sticks here. Once it starts to set up, I'll, I'll 
check my alignment again. Painted in a dang cat hair or something. All right, guys. Well, that's that. I'm gonna flip it over and clean it up real quick. But uh, I think it's gonna look uh, look good when it's done, huh? All right, guys, it's the next day. The glue is dried overnight. We did really well. This thing is square, and to just be more or less eyeballing it and not using all the techniques the manual was talking about, we got it right on. Let me show you here a couple, a couple things with a square. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll get some other close-ups here in a second. All right, here. Let's see. It came out pretty dang good, in my opinion. Here. side and I even I even did that string and tape like they showed in the book and I just used a piece of a, a servo wire so it doesn't stretch as tight as others but I'll show you that all right so I took a they say get a piece of string that won't stretch and pin it to the middle of the front of the fuselage and then get a then get a piece of tape on it where you can make a mark. This won't be exactly like perfect, but for what we did, in my opinion, it's good. So going right here to the edge, I made a mark with a, with a pen. Comes right there to the corner. Right there to the corner. Get a little better shot on it. Right there to that corner. And right there to that corner. Not bad. shots of it. I think it came out really, really well. All right, next step coming up. Let's see what we got. Okay, YouTube, that concludes part two. We'll see what we got going on next. I know we got some more more hinges to glue in for the elevator and the rudder. We got landing gear, and um, I think I guess at that point then we get on to the electronics. We'll see what the what the manual tells us to do if we don't rearrange it too much for uh, part three coming up. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. That really means a whole lot. That's how the the whole YouTube deal works and that's what makes me work so i would really appreciate it all right until next time
You'll see me here.